Hey, how's it going? And today we're going to be creating a basic nighttime scene in Unreal Engine 4.26. I'd like to say this is easy. It is easy once you figure out the steps, but at first it is kind of confusing. And I don't know, there's maybe like 10 or 15 steps you gotta take, so, but it's not that bad. Okay, so we're gonna come in here, we're gonna go click games. We're gonna go next. We're gonna go blank project next. Leave everything on the default. We'll just call this night, night X and create project. I really think Unreal Engine is the wave of the future and I plan to be doing a lot more tutorials on Unreal. Step by step, brick by brick, we're going to learn this program. Okay, so this is our scene. What we can do is we can just come up here to go to file, new level, and go empty level. And that just blanks everything out. And this is truly starting from scratch. So we're making pancakes ourselves, which is flour and sugar. <laughs> Okay, so what we're gonna do to start this is we're gonna be using the new sky atmosphere. So come to visual effects, sky atmosphere, and drag it onto the scene. And you'll notice, I think Unreal does a good job here about with these thumbnails, because they kind of give you a, a small little visualization of what the effect is. So you hear, see here, this is supposed to be a planet, and then there's the sun. So that's exactly what sky atmosphere is. It replicates the lighting on Earth through all the uh, particles and things like that, coming with directional light from the sun. However, it is a little misleading because it has a sun there, but it's not included. So for this to really function, we need a directional light. So we're going to just drag that onto the scene too. So these two things go together like, um, I don't know, Reese's peanut butter, you know, chocolate and peanut butter <laughs> or dumb and dumber. You know, you need these two things together. A directional light can exist by itself, but the sky atmosphere needs a directional light. One criticism I have of Unreal is I wish these, on the detail panel here, I wish these were collapsed on default instead of expanded. Because it's just, when you first come in, it's just intimidating because it's just like all this stuff. It's like walking down a grocery store aisle and it's, I just wish they were collapsed. We come here to atmosphere and cloud and when we click that, watch what happens. There we go. And there is our new, awesome, physically based render earth atmosphere. Now to explore what the magic of all this is, you got to hit control L and that's kind of a weird combo on the, on my keyboard at least. And it brings up this. And if you just move your mouse, you don't have to click the mouse buttons. You can change. So this blue arrow is pointing that shows the direction that the rays are pointing. So if we drag it down and it's pointing up, then it's beneath the horizon. And if we go up, this is, it's pointing down then in various levels. So like if we drag it close to the horizon, like that, it would be simulating sunset, right? Or dusk. So if I'm right clicking here to find the sun, where is it? Did I drag it too far down? It's gotta be here somewhere. There it is. I was just right clicking and orbiting around. So that's what it does. If I hit control all again, of course I can move it. Look at that. That's kind of cool, right? That's a real, was that Miller time or Michelob? <laughs> the end of the day you know it's sunset walking on the beach okay so i'm just gonna leave it right there anyway you can play around with that so this is the excitement is about this new atmosphere that's so true to the earth zone atmosphere and it's very sophisticated like there are some settings we'll be looking at toward the end here these are all different kinds of particles okay so the only thing we're missing besides birds and airplanes and base ships is clouds because who doesn't like uh, clouds in the sky so to do that we're going to have to bring in a sky sphere so we come over here type in sky and then we're just going to go ahead and drag the sky sphere onto the scene now this is truly a sphere so if i right click and look around you can see i'm look at how the sun distorts like that's a far away right there but then as i i'm just right clicking you see how it distorts there? Because it's on a, we're inside a sphere, right? And the color's a little weird, right? So if I hit Control L again, I can change the lighting, but it's it's kind of alienish, right? One of the things that we need to do to make this look like we want it to look is we got to be on the sky sphere itself, and these are the most critical settings really to learn about what's going on here. So let's just summarize. We got our sky atmosphere, we got our directional light, and then we got our sky sphere. And it's the sky sphere that's going to give us the clouds and the stars. And that's what we want, especially for a nighttime scene. In line with the nighttime scene, we'll be repositioning the sun in a little bit. What's confusing is this, because this is really a fake sun. It's not really affecting the overall lighting in the scene. So if I come over here and I turn this down, like... See how that disc goes away? You see, it's, it's a fake. 
it's like that Truman show, you know, it's just like a fake. <laughs> but what's interesting is if you turn it up really high, it does start affecting the lighting a little bit because it's so supernova you know, but it's really just a fake sun. You know, it's interesting, right? And we don't really need it because we're going to be creating a, a nighttime scene. So I'm just going to hit zero and zero it out. I was saying we wanted clouds and we want nighttime clouds too. So we just have to come to cloud opacity and pump that up. Now we notice that the, uh, I can try to adjust the stars and nothing's going to happen, but we need to connect the directional light to the sky sphere. Now watch what happens when I do that. Nothing, right? But if I come over here and I check this box off, we have a normalized scene now. Now if I right click, I can actually turn up stars. Now I should be able to turn up some stars, even though it's daytime, but you don't see them yet. So what we gotta do to bring up our stars is I have to hit Control L again, and we gotta drop our sun beneath. And then we might have to refresh the material. And now we can finally see the stars. Actually seeing stars kind of in the in the daytime, right? Because we dropped our directional light. So this directional light is affecting our stars. So we need to have this directional light in order to have our stars. And that's kind of bright. So like, honestly, they might be the only like that. You know, I don't know, maybe just a hint of stars during the day like that. So now we're getting there, right? So now we've got our stars. We've got our stars and everything. And I'm right, I'm just right clicking here, but we want it to look like night. So to do that, when you hit this color determined by, it'll take it back to kind of that wonky alienish kind of thing. And if we turn this off, then we get kind of what it should look, I mean, look like, I think. But let's come in here and we go to Zenith color and we'll just pull down our color here. And we start getting something that starts looking pretty interesting. Let me dismiss this and go OK. And then if I click here and I pull down this color, that really starts getting us something that looks pretty, pretty darn cool. OK, but you could look at this and say, well, it's night. Why are the clouds so bright? It doesn't quite look right, right? What we can do is there's a couple things we're going to do. There's just a couple more things we need to do is we can just turn this down, drop the opacity a little bit and we can you can play with the brightness. I mean, it's an artistic decision, right? How you want this to look. So I don't want to drop the opacity too much on the clouds, but maybe something like that. Something like that. Let's look around here and see. Okay. So now the other two settings that we can go to, if we go into sky atmosphere here, and I don't know if this is a bug or not, but sometimes this doesn't work. I have to jump back and forth sometimes, but I should be able to, by adjusting this setting here, and I had to actually take a note about this, about the Rayleigh. The Rayleigh lighting is the, the interaction of light with smaller particles. The type of scattering is dependent on the light wavelength. For instance, in the Earth's sky, blue scatters more light than other colors, giving the sky its blue color. So that's Rayleigh. It's interacting with smaller particles. And the me, so that kind of brought our, our overall lighting down, I think, kind of to a nice effect. Now the me is actually the interaction of light with larger particles, such as dust or air pollution, smog, basically. <laughs> and if we adjust this, you have to just be careful how you're adjusting these, but you can see if I orbit, you can, you can get additional. I think maybe the stars are a little too bright. So let me just, let me just bring those down just a little bit here. Not too much, but something maybe like that. And that's it. I mean, there's a lot to this program. I hope you find this helpful. I'm trying to show you how to create something each time, something that I think kind of is cool, and each time kind of teaching you a basic skill or something about the program. So anyway, thank you very much, and I really appreciate you watching and subscribing to the videos. So take care, have a great day, and I'll talk to you next time.